Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek. Today's topics include the FTC being asked to investigate privacy risks with Anchor Free's Hotspot Shield VPN, Microsoft updating Outlook.com with a new look and some AI-inspired functionality, T-Mobile offering smartphone users aged 55 and older two lines for $60, and Hewlett Packard Enterprise adding big switch software to its open Altaline switches. According to a complaint filed by the Center of Democracy and Technology, Anchor Free's Hotspot Shield virtual private network is not properly securing its users and is unfairly sharing user information. In a 13-page complaint filed with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission, the CDT alleges that Anchor Free is engaged in unfair and deceptive trade practices. Anchor Free denies the allegations. Among other concerns, the complaint details the ways in which Hotspot Shield's marketing claims around privacy and security directly contradict its actual practices and policies. The description of the Hotspot Shield app in Google's Play Store announces your privacy and security are guaranteed, while CDT's investigation found the opposite. Michelle Demoy, Director of Privacy and Data Project at CDT, wrote in a blog post. The CDT claims it found multiple instances in which Hotspot Shield shared sensitive data with third-party advertising networks. Betting that users expect more from their inboxes than just a place to store their emails, Microsoft is revamping its Outlook.com web-based email service. Those who participate in the new Outlook.com beta can expect a smarter inbox courtesy of advances in programming, design, and artificial intelligence, according to Microsoft. The company is currently rolling out a beta toggle that will appear for more users over time. In the beta, Outlook.com generates quick suggestions in a separate pane as users type their emails, offering ways to embed information on nearby restaurants, flights, and other items based on the context of the message. Microsoft has also added new features for sharing photos. T-Mobile is expanding its popular family mobile plans to a new target audience. It's now offering specially discounted T-Mobile One Unlimited 55 Plus plans for $60 combined for two lines for families of two people, including at least one who is 55 years of age or older. The new monthly 55 plus plans, which include unlimited data, text, and voice, are priced $40 lower than T-Mobile's recent promotion offering two lines of service for $100 a month, which has been available since February. The $60 two-line 55 plus rate incorporates T-Mobile's auto pay feature. If auto pay is not authorized, the service costs an extra $5 per month for two users. The 55 plus service is also available for single users with a cost of $50 a month with auto pay compared with $70 a month with auto pay at the company's standard rates. Hewlett Packard Enterprise is adding network virtualization products from Big Switch Networks to the lineup of third-party software that can run on the OEM's Altaline portfolio of open networking switches. The tech vendor is now reselling Big Switch's Big Monitoring Fabric and Big Cloud Fabric with three of its Altaline systems, which also can run network software from other companies such as Pika 8. HPE, through the Altaline family of switches, is one of several established networking vendors that over the past several years have rolled out open switches in hopes of pushing back at the growing popularity of inexpensive and unbranded white boxes developed by original design manufacturers. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.